Most guys who are into fashion love fall because we get to use more of our wardrobe. Between the rich colors, interesting textures and fabrics, and of course, the ability to wear layers without overheating, autumn is just a great season for menswear. Now, it's usually a good idea to start thinking about your fall wardrobe before it gets too cold out. So in this video, we're gonna go over six fall essentials for guys. As always, I'll link to everything that I show you in this video down below in the description. Before we get into it, huge thank you to today's sponsor, Bulk Ohm. Bulk Ohm is a Japanese skincare brand developed by men for simplicity. It's a three-step routine that includes face wash, toner, and moisturizer. And I have to say, while the ingredients and performance matters more than like branding, the packaging and the product design is beautiful. And it was a really enjoyable unboxing experience. And I think that this stuff looks great in my bathroom. Now, the face wash is especially unique because it comes with this bubble net that you use to create like a really rich kind of thick foam lather and then you use that lather to wash your face. It almost has like the feel or density of really old school shaving cream but it washes off clean and it leaves your skin feeling refreshed. It doesn't leave any like dryness or residue behind. It's a very unique face washing experience compared to any other product that I've tried. The toner is also very lightweight and kind of liquidy. It's like giving your skin just like a big glass of water. And similarly, the lotion isn't very thick. It's easy to rub in, it's easily absorbed, and it doesn't leave any like greasy feeling behind. Another cool thing about Bulk Ohm is their travel set. So this comes with a mini version of the bubble net along with travel sized versions of the face wash, the toner, and the lotion. Plus, it's already in a little clear bag, so you can just throw it in your suitcase or your gym bag and you're good to go. You can actually buy the travel set for just $10 with free shipping from Bulk Ohm's website, so it's a great way to kind of sample the brand before committing. And I love the travel set. I always hate when I find a really good skincare product, but it doesn't come in a travel size, so I can't keep it in my carry on when I fly on a plane. So I will link to that travel set and everything else from from Bulk Ohm down below in the description, along with any discount codes. Big thank you again to Bulk Ohm for supporting the channel by sponsoring this video. Okay, let's talk about fall essentials. Fall essential number one, no surprise here, is a pair of boots. Boots are to fall what sneakers are to spring and summer. They're thick, durable, water resistant usually, especially if they're Goodyear welted, and they're just perfect for that cool, crisp autumn weather. In addition to being practical, they're rugged and stylish. And a well-made boot should last a very long time. I'm talking like five, 10 years, even multiple decades if you get it resold. Now, if you're not sure what kind of boots to buy, check out my guide about the best types of boots for men. Recently, I've been enjoying these Red Wing Weekend Chucka Boots. For Red Wings, they're actually really lightweight. They're pretty casual. They look great with almost any pair of jeans that I own, most of the chinos, and they're comfy right out of the box. I also plan on breaking in these waterproof mock toe boots from Idris. They've been sitting in my closet for months and I'm excited that it's finally cool enough to start wearing them and breaking them in. But whatever style you like, I think it's good to have maybe like two pairs of boots, you know, a work boot and a Chelsea boot or a chukka and a Chelsea, and that way you can rotate through them. Maybe one's a little more casual, one's a little more dressy. If you need inspiration, check out my latest shoe collection video. Fall essential number two is a pair of non-boots. Now, I know that some guys love to wear boots 24-7 once the temperature drops below 60 degrees, but personally, I don't like wearing boots every day. And there are plenty of non-boot options that still look really good with fall outfits. My favorite boot alternative is the Blucher Mock. So this moccasin style comes in a bunch of different silhouettes and weights and levels of chunkiness, but they're all kind of rugged. This pair from Yucatan is on the heavy side. It's definitely chunky and thick. It's got a really thick, durable outsole, a soft suede upper, and it's low cut compared to a, even like a chucka boot. So just a nice alternative, especially if you wanna show off your cool, thick wool socks. These look right at home with light or medium wash jeans. They look good with olive chinos or tan or navy chinos. Now, if you want something more affordable and you like the camp mock or the ranger mock aesthetic, check out L.L. Bean, Minnetonka, and Eastland. Another great non-boot is the brown sneaker. Just like white sneakers, these can be worn all year round, but they tend to look good with those rich autumn colors. And you can go with tan or a, a mid-brown or like a dark, rich espresso. These are gonna look great with any shade of denim. They're gonna look good with any natural tones like off-white or olive. I wouldn't say that a brown leather sneaker is like a must-have in every man's wardrobe, 
but if you're looking to diversify your shoe collection a little bit, definitely consider them. Okay, fall essential number three is a pair of warm socks. So since you're gonna be wearing boots and maybe some non-boots for fall and winter, you're gonna wanna stick with like thick, durable, warm socks that maybe have a little extra padding and take up a little more room in your shoe. Wool socks and wool blends are the best choice. Wool is an incredible natural fiber. It's got moisture and odor wicking, natural properties, and it works really well as a blend with cotton and other synthetic fabrics as well. You can't go wrong with Smart Wool or Darn Tough. Both of these brands make very comfy, durable wool socks and wool blends, and they're available in different sizes, which is great because I don't think socks should be one size fits all. I will link to my favorite wool socks down below in the description. Okay, fall essential number four is a medium weight jacket. Now you have lots of choices here, you know, everything from leather jackets to field jackets and bombers. No matter what style you choose, you're gonna want something that has a little bit of insulation, but also that's not too bulky. So you want it to sit kind of close to your body, but just enough room for like one thick layer underneath, like a sweatshirt or like a wool sweater. Personally, I find myself reaching for leather, suede, and field jackets more than anything else. These are especially great if your style is a little more casual and smart casual versus like more formal. I also find these jackets to be a bit more easy to layer than something like a Harrington or even like a bomber or a windbreaker. Those jackets look good over like a shirt, but if you have like a leather jacket or a field jacket, you can wear it over like a shirt and then like a mid layer, like a vest or a quarter zip sweater or something like that. You could also go with a down puffer style jacket, but these are often too warm for fall. So I usually save these for winter. Fall essential number five is the middle layer. Most guys have plenty of shirts and jackets, but that middle layer is often overlooked. One of my favorite middle layers is the lightweight quilted vest. This one from J. Crew Factory has been a staple in my wardrobe for many years. It looks good over button-up shirts, sweatshirts, casual knits, wool sweaters, pretty much anything. I love this because it looks good on its own or under pretty much any kind of casual jacket that I have. If you don't like the idea of a vest, try the overshirt or the shacket. Sometimes these are called like work shirts or chore jackets. I think they're more like jackets than shirts just in the way that you wear them because you wouldn't really wear them as a base layer. They actually look really good over collared shirts. It's a double collar look, but somehow it just works. And they also look good as middle layers under medium weight jackets. For a slightly preppier option, try the quarter zip wool sweater. Now these really look great over button up shirts. So if you have a collared shirt on and then a quarter zip sweater over it, that's a solid kind of, kind of traditional preppy look. Okay, and fall staple number six is the heavy long sleeve shirt. So I'm not talking about your like fine merino wool sweaters that you would wear over like an Oxford button up. I'm talking about your casual long sleeve knits. These are like your thicker wool sweaters or even your cotton sweatshirts. And in a world where we're all dressing in an increasingly casual way, these are perfect for fall. I usually just wear these over a crew neck t-shirt so I can take the sweatshirt off if I get too hot. Gray, navy, and oatmeal or brown are all really good colors for these shirts. And of course, you can wear these with jeans, chinos. You can even wear them with shorts, you can wear them with corduroys, even wool trousers, you know, if you have a pair of casual wool trousers. And they're gonna look good with any jacket, anything from casual jackets like your field jackets and leather jackets to top coats and pea coats. And that's it. Those are six things that I definitely can't live without this fall, but I'd love to hear from you. What are your fall staples? What can't you live without? Let me know down below in the comments. Thank you as always for watching and until next time, stay stylish.